Hi, I'm Alan. And I'm Emily. And today we will continue sharing places to find great content for your courses. Last time we highlighted Merlot and Hippocampus and uh, Khan Academy, iTunes U and YouTube. And we learned physics from cats. Yeah, right. Um, several institutions across the U.S. and the globe are sharing course content online for free. iTunes U, which we've already talked about, is one popular location for such materials. Other institutions such as Yale and MIT have their own sharing sites. MIT's OpenCourseWare has video lectures, resources, and sometimes even activities related to several fields. Again, slanted towards science and technology, but other disciplines are available. Yale Open Courses offer a wider variety of disciplines and also contain lectures from actual class sessions. Beyond Yale and MIT, you can find a full list of Open Courseware links at the OCW or Open Courseware Consortium. If you are looking for more interactive activities instead of lectures, check out University of Wisconsin's WISC online. Uh, this site is a repository of learning objects on just about any concept. For example, an activity on the either-or fallacy explains the fallacy and then will ask students to input their own personal example. The input can then be emailed to the instructor. Cool, right? Yeah. Uh, another repository currently in beta testing is Blackboard's Explore. Explore promises to be a huge repository of shared content across institutions and fully integrates with any learning management system, whether it be a Blackboard product or not. Explore it won't be available until this summer, and we will definitely do another episode once it is available. Publishing companies are generally more than happy to create and share content for your course. Many have cartridges with complete course design based around your textbook. Some companies may also have a repository of objects that can be integrated directly into Angel. Yeah, and speaking of Angel, there is a learning object repository built right into the system. A few classes and programs here at Kirkwood have taken advantage of the LOR material sharing functions. If nothing else, it's a good practice to keep your larger videos and audio files and any reusable materials in your repository to keep the size of your courses manageable. And we're just getting started sharing and discovering great resources. So how are you finding content? Are you sharing with colleagues here at Kirkwood or elsewhere? If so, we want to know about it. Let us know what you found. Hey, I found this Rice Krispie treat. Thanks. Thanks for watching.